So to, uh, to get the LEDs running and uh, get some animation going, we'll hook it up to a Medusa DMX here. And uh, so these are the uh, LED channels right here. So I'll just uh, start filling these in. Start with red, green, and the blue. And lastly, uh, just hook it up to your 5 volt LED power supply. And uh, that I've got right here. So we'll hook up the plus there. And then also don't forget the ground for the LED supply to the Medusa DMX. Okay, so now that we've got the um, RGB LED spot hooked up to the Medusa DMX, uh, we'll just go and set it up in VSA. So this is a blank VSA file right here. And we'll just go and add in those devices. I have an Entech Pro running over here as the uh, USB to DMX converter. And that's a DMX dimmer. Those should be set up as. And that, that starts out at address 16 for the LEDs on the Medusa DMX and uh, we'll want to start that out. I think I like mine to uh, have the um, minimum and default to be zero. And so that's the red. And we'll go uh, set up the green. And lastly, the blue. And that's everybody. So, uh, what we can do now is uh, just put in some uh, fading routines. Maybe we'll have it uh, fade through the different colors. Do a little bit of fading here. So, linear bar on the red. Let's have it stop at uh, full brightness, and um, then we'll have that uh, fade down. Actually, let's do that the same time duration. And we'll have that fade back down to zero at the same time that blue fades, or uh, sorry, green, green fades up, and then we'll have green fade down, oops, probably overlapping there again, let's see. So we'll have green fade down as blue fades up. And uh, that should give us a nice uh, little color wash of the different colors. And uh, then we'll turn blue off. Oops, wait a minute. Why is that? Okay, yeah, that's the default. Okay. And then we can uh, we can go ahead and uh, put some strobe effects in there. Have a little delay after the fade. Make the strobe a pulse bar. Put in two fifty five. Let's get a let's get an event out here so we can have uh, have a wider screen to look at. And uh, zoom in. So 
So I'm going to make this a little bit longer than I actually would. Uh, that is a, a slower strobe than I would in normal, uh, normal use because the camera is not going to pick it up otherwise. Uh, normally I would just do a one frame strobe and then uh, two frames of, of uh, dark, but I'm going to do a two frame strobe and uh, two frame of dark so that the camera will be able to pick it up. So we'll do that for red, and uh, then we can just copy the whole thing for uh, for each for green and blue too. So that way we'll do a red for a bit, and then green for a bit, and finally uh, blue for a bit. Oops. Okay, so we've got the uh, RGB LED spotlight set up, a little uh, target screen over here, and VSA. So let's run the routine, see how it looks. So, there you have it. You got your RGB LED spotlight and a uh, little bit of uh, tutorial about how you can use it. Uh, thanks for watching.